hello and welcome back to the next episode and in this one or two we were just about finding out something about a little girl the daughter actually from the duke who got a mysterious gift from the grand inventor and we were about to explore the house maybe there's more we can loot nice. they're definitely blood flies so that's what we should keep out but they usually hide something very well oh hello something there's incendiary uh oh 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 ah. oh oh don't die ah 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 Here, who dude? Also stung by blood flies, I assume. Couldn't be saved. Yeah, who dude? That boy there. Oh, what Seong's? Seong's notes. Uh huh. Month of songs. Mm -hmm. Lady Coddington brought silk scarves from her boutique. One scarves. Ah, scarves. Oh god. Scarves from her boutique, one of which Mr. Prospero used to gently strangle her. I maintained a count of her pulse and observed her breathing when the life signs faded. We left her still for two full minutes before reviving her. Was it really the void she described? Have we succeeded in seeing the unseeable? My hand trembles as I recall the in intense intensity in her eyes as she struggled to recount with broken voice what she felt during those two minutes. Month of Earth, I conceived our little group that less gentle methods were needed if our desire to meet the outsider was sincere. Blood fly fever, voluntarily induced, that will be our way to the void. After procuring a few blood flies and some Edomir solution, we coated our hands with the elixir before exposing them to the vivarium. The stinging was unbearable, Lady Cottingham fainted immediately. I was the last one to remove my hands. The fear was quick to, to set in. As I faded in and out of consciousness, ocean waves pounded above me. There were silhouettes in the distance and shimmering black rocks. A timeless passing in an unthinkable place while delirium held us for a few hours. I must get back to back there as soon as possible when my wounds have healed. Well, maybe, maybe not. I think you never made it. Huh? Sound like snoring. But no, okay. That's the carriage, I know, okay. Anything of value here? Nice. Just dead blood flies. Uh, ah, it shows me plants. Tap. Ah. Okay, uh, in order to add my solution to tattoo. Anything of value? I don't think so. Okay. Downstairs. Die, you too. Okay. What? The 
crown killer is waiting. Well, that is the past now. That we all know. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> there was a door to it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That this just shows that you sometimes you are blind indeed. Damn. Okay. See? Awesome. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Good. Good that they came back. You probably saw this already. It's when you talk and play, it's things easier. That's for sure. So that's why I play a little bit slower. What's that? Nothing. Toodaloo. Nothing was that. It was definitely not me, that's for sure. There's a rune. Okay. Let's see if we can find this one. You can also go to the. You can also go inside there now. Well, I'm not sure if this is safe yet. Ha! Ah. Oh, we have been here. Oh, damn it. Yeah, that's where the people waited. I didn't see the room. Great. One more for the dust. Bowling bolts. Wait, what? Lions enemies, uh huh. Also interesting. Huh, okay. Good to know. So, is that more bone charms or something? I think there was a bone charm. Unlock bone charm. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, I, I don't see it. <laughs> ah. Ah, okay. Ah, that's this one which we couldn't get. Um, we couldn't get into the building or something. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, I remember. Apartment gate key. Uh, cool. Question is, mm -hmm. we're we getting it down here. The market. <coughs> I'm glad to see you well. It's like market. Key needed. Welcome back. Do you have anything? <coughs> Next time, maybe. <sighs> but, I mean, um, yeah, this before. Hmm. Who? Um, hello, fellas. Um, yeah. Are they attacking me now? Okay, they definitely have seen me right now. Ooh. Who do we have here? What's the mask for? Walk on. You won't like how this ends. Oh, that's oh. not how it ends? 
How does it end then? With an old man giving me advice in my own damn city, then being force-fed his ugly mask? Yes. Because that sounds like something I'd like a lot. Um. Howlers don't tolerate rivals. Leave while you can. No. Here we go. Here comes the rest. Hmm. Hello, hello, my lady. Uh, nice to meet you and to make acquaintance with you. Very pretty today. Very nice makeup. And let's see how far you can fly. Whee! Damn. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, anything of value, little haulers? No, don't. No. Okay. But there was something, wasn't there? Why did you block off this place? Why would they? Why would they be here? So it's for something. Hmm. That that is very confusing to me, honestly. I would have thought. Hmm. Must beware. Multiply, yes, yes you do, little haulers. Okay, didn't bring us closer to the bone charm over there. That's really annoying me. Let's get this bone charm. Oh, that is just where it all started, right? Looks like this rivaling tool. Yeah. It's where the captain waits for us. Oh wait a second. No. Oh. Uh, nice. No oh, trespassing. I like to trespass. Please let me trespass. Hmm. Uh, can I swim here? Probably gonna die now. Hopefully by piranhas. At least I'm not dying. Not getting through here either. Okay. That sucks. Hello, just taking a bath. Okay. Then, yeah, well, uh, should we just leave it? I mean, bone charms are not so important as runes. The question is, I don't want to miss a rune that's actually more important to me. So, is that another level out? Somewhere here is the bone charm, right? There's a bone charm. Seems to be the last one if I see that correctly. Yeah. Then I'd say we just go and peek now into this. Oof. Right here. <laughs> I'm wanted. And safe without the lock. Noise. What do we get? Coins. And gold and silver. <laughs> Is it safe? Fake. And yeah. Oh. Ah. 
open. There were more coins in it. I saw them. I'm not gonna hide. And it's a coin. And what's there? A stun mine. Oh. I have enough of those. Another register. Nice. More coins. Oh, God damn it! Open again. Thank you. Pick up. Okay. So, 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 so. So. And since nobody's here anymore, we can have a more closer look to upstairs. I mean, we've been here once. Oh, yeah, that's the way on the backyard. I honestly give up on the rune, I, I don't want to, uh, on the bone charm. I'm not gonna look it up now, because uh, I think it's a waste of time, not really. Ooh, something about the howlers, I'm interested. Your dear editor is stepping aside this week to give you both sides of an argument ranging across the city. Guest editor, the howlers, howler plight. The letter published last week by the Gazette was an outrage. How could Madame Anto suggest that the Dust District and even Kanaka itself would be better off if we legalized Paolo and his howlers in any way? Instead, decent folk should hope to wake on morning and read that Paolo is finally dead or in jail. And why should we be wary of the Abbey? Only a witch need worry about the wrath of the overseers. Mm -hmm. The howlers are nothing but a bunch of cutthroats who never worked a day in their life. Everything they have, they stole. If you want their so-called protection, it comes at a price. On the contrary, the overseers have dedicated their lives to spreading the good values of the seven strictures. Believe me, the dust in, Basti in Batista is not in our streets, but in our hearts. And only the Abbey will make us clean again. Sebastian Emmerich. Aha. Aha, two rival groups, I see. Paolo and his gang. Well, we meet pa met Paolo. Yes, we did. And... Yeah, I guess we're gonna meet him again. And I think it's all done now. That means, since the episode's also over, next episode we take a ride with this carriage and we'll see each other in the next episode and where we go. Maybe the clockwork mention, maybe not. All this we will see in the next episode. So take care and bye bye.